Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So in this video I'm going to be showing you a really awesome build that I've made for Titans. Um, if you didn't know, not that long ago, maybe a week or two ago, I made a updated Aegis Scepter build for my Warlock. It was basically a play on a classic build that I have covered many times before, um, but I've actually never covered it for any other class. So I figured I'd get to grinding, get, get some new gear, uh, and then make a build for Aegis Scepter for the Titan. And maybe one day I'll do it for the Hunter as well. Um, since, you know, Revenant's pretty strong. And Aegis with Revenant is also very strong. But this video is going to be for the Titan. So for all you Titans out there who have been looking for a decent Aegis Scepter build to play around with. This might be the one for you. Right. So getting into this. Aegis Scepter, of course, again... Uh, this thing's nuts. Every kill will slow and freeze enemies. Um, and then also if you have the catalyst, you can drain your super to perpetually freeze enemies uh, without actually needing to kill them. And it's an 80% damage buff to the gun as well. And uh, it'll last quite a long time. It lasts until you either run out of ammo or you run out of your super. But another good thing about this is that it basically gives you overflow as well. Um, so you get 192 shots, I think, uh, off the top of my head, when you use that, and then, yeah, you can use it until your super runs out or you have to reload. Very, very strong. And again, it is an 80% damage buff, and that will, of course, stack with, uh, an empowering buff and an amplification buff as well. So you can push that pretty high, and we're going to be doing that in this build. So the exotic I'm pairing with Aegis is the Horfrost Z. Uh, the reason why I've chosen this is because it's it's quite fun. It's it's pretty good. Um, and of course, for Titans on Behemoth, the only way to get uh, Stasis Shards is to actually destroy Stasis Crystals. Um, so, you know, this is a great exotic for that, uh, since your barricade is just a big wall of Stasis Crystals. Um, so we're going to be putting that to use not only as a barricade, but also to get Stasis Shards. Um, the reason why I didn't go for Icefall Mantle is because uh, I, I like the movement on Behemoth a lot uh, with the melee and stuff, and I like being mobile with Aegis. Um, and yeah, Icefall kind of prevents that. So I I just wanted to go with Horfrost. It, it's a, I think it's a lot better actually for this kind of build. So yeah. Alright, getting into the actual subclass. This is where it gets a bit dicey. You can switch this up a lot. Uh, there is a lot of customizable options here. Um, that maybe you'll want to use over what I've used. Um, but yeah, you'll see what I mean very shortly. So, all of this is pretty straightforward since not really much of it changes. Of course, we do want the Glacier Nades because we do need to destroy uh, Stasis Crystals to make shards. And uh, what we're going to be doing with that is Tectonic Harvest here. Basically, shattering a Stasis Crystal will give me a shard. So, you will need this in the build, 100%. Uh, so make sure you have that. This will also give you melee energy. I like the movement on the melee a lot, so I've also gone for 100 strength. Um, if you don't really care about the melee too much, you can actually ditch 100 strength and go for 100 intellect uh, with 100 dis and resi. You want 100 resi because you want to be unkillable, right? You want to, well, not unkillable, uh, but you want to be very, very tanky. Uh, this build will not make you unkillable, unfortunately, unless you switch up a few of the fragments that I have in here, which you can definitely do. Um, but yeah, with the build I have, you won't be unkillable, you'll just be quite tanky. Uh, and yeah, you obviously want this because you want Glacier Nades. Uh, and pairing with the Tectonic Harvest, we have Diamond Lance. The reason for this is because it's an instant freeze and it's an instant shatter, um, pretty much every time. Uh, it also has three fragment slots, which is phenomenal for this type of stuff. Uh, so I've gone with this purely for that. However, if you don't care about some of the fragments in here that I will be showing, you can swap out for some more uh, s some more of these other options, really. You could have um, Howl of the Storm, or you could have Cryoclasm. It is up to you. I don't recommend Cryoclasm, even though it is pretty fun, because uh, it only has one fragment slot. That will hinder the build drastically. But uh, yeah, Hallow Storm can be pretty nice if you want to use that over Diamond Lance. But Diamond Lance is also very strong, so it's completely up to you. Now for the fragments, this is a mandatory fragment here, Whisper of Fissures. This will increase the size and the damage of an, a stasis explosion. That counts for Aegis, that counts for Diamond Lance, that counts for the grenades, that counts for your super, it counts for your melee. 
Um, this will buff basically the entire subclass and your gun. So, highly recommend this. Do not recommend switching this one out. Now, this one can be swapped out if you don't really care about having the Aegis super up a lot. Uh, Whisperer Bonds here will basically give you a ton of super energy when you defeat frozen targets. Of course, again, that will count for your grenade, that will count for your melee, if you can freeze with slow from the melee. Uh, that'll count for your super, since that freezes, that'll count for Diamond Lance, and of course Aegis again. So, yeah, this is very, very nice if you want to keep uh, the super on Aegis up a lot, but technically you can take this out and build your stats a little bit easier, since this does tank some pretty important stats, depending on what you're going for. Um, but yeah, it's up to you. Then I have Whisper Endurance. The reason why I have this is because Aegis does slow, and your melee will slow as well if you tag them. Uh, and slow is pretty valuable in PvE, especially. So, I don't know. Uh, extending it is very nice. I've also got it in here for stats as well. Um, but yeah, technically you could switch this one out if you want to, and maybe throw in uh, DR. I do recommend having this in here. Unfortunately, with the setup I've currently got, because of this, uh, I can't actually have this in here. Um, but yeah, if you want to swap this out and you want to swap this out, you can definitely have Whisper of Chains and then maybe even throw in the Overshields from Whisper of Rhyme. Uh, but that's completely up to you. These are very good fragments. There's a lot of good fragments in here that you can use. You could even use Whis uh, Whisper of Hedrons as well, if you want to use that for free recov and resilience. It's up to you. There's a lot of options, a lot of customizable options in here. Uh, the next up, we have Whisper of Shards. Now, I highly recommend having this. This is more mandatory than anything. Uh, basically, what this does is when you destroy stasis crystals, it gives you a big benefit to grenade regen. Of course, we already have 100 discipline, but the thing is with uh, Glacianades is they still have a very, very long cooldown, even with 100 dis. Um, so having this will make that faster. Um, and then you can chain those and your barricade easily to create stasis, crystal, uh, stasis shards from those crystals. Uh, and then finally, I have Whisper of Conduction. This is mandatory. You need this. Stasis Shards will track to you. It means you don't have to go out of your way to actually get them. You can just destroy a Stasis Crystal, and then this thing will come flying towards you. Um, it also gives Resi, and it'll give Intellect if you decide to spec into that. I haven't spec'd into Intellect, because again, I want my melee, and I also have a mod that makes Intellect completely uh, useless. But, of course, not everyone might want to use that mod for a bit more mod freedom, so yeah. Alright, so, mods. First off, we've got Elemental Shards. The reason why you want this is because those Stasis Shards that we'll be making pretty frequently will actually count as Stasis Elemental Wells. And with those Wells, we're going to be getting Font of Might, which is a 25% damage buff that stacks with anything. Uh, and we're also going to get Font of Wisdom, which is basically a free Tier 10 uh, Intellect for 30 seconds. Actually, I think it's 35 seconds now because they buffed it. Um, so you, yeah, you've got 35 seconds of tier 10 intellect cooldown, uh, and of course, because stasis shards are very easy to make and very easy to uh, chain, we can basically have tier 10 intellect almost infinitely, uh, especially since we don't actually have to kill anything or freeze anything or whatever. We just have to put down a barricade or throw a grenade and boom, we have tier 10 intellect. Uh, so that's pretty valuable. Then I have radiant light for stats because I want my melee. Uh, if you don't care about strength, you can swap this out and put whatever you want in here. If you've gone for intellect as well, and you haven't gone for strength, then you can swap out both of these uh, and put in whatever you want. It's completely up to you. I don't really have any good suggestions, but anything will really work. Uh, and then finally, I have radiant orbs. Now, the reason why I have this is because this is a 25% damage buff that will stack with Font of Might, of course, and it will stack with Aegis Super Mode. Um, so you've got... A 25% from Font of Might and a 25% from here, pairing with the 80% on Aegis, you're going to have a very, very powerful Aegis super. Um, it's going to shred through everything. It's going to shred through bosses, champions, you name it. It's going to shred. Um, this is very easy to proc as well because I do have a Siphon mod and that will work with Aegis, of course, because it's on Stasis. So Aegis will be fueling both of its damage buffs um, when I put down barricades and, and throw grenades, um, which is really, really good. And that's pretty much it for the build overall. It's very straightforward. There is a lot of customization. Um, everything else is kind of just like finders, reserves, scavs, whatever. I don't have recuperation in here because of, uh, basically because of Font of Wisdom, really. Um, because throwing in Font of Wisdom down here, for example, would mean no scav. And I need scav because I'm using double special. Uh, you should be using double special with Aegis, 100%. Aegis is your primary. Treat it as one. 
and use a very very strong special maybe a fusion rifle a grenade launcher like forbearance uh a glaive as snipers and shotguns can work as well sure blinding launchers anything works uh but yeah pair it with agers as much as possible it'll be very valuable um and then have a good heavy reeds chain of command storm chaser anything works but yeah font of might is going to be working for agers exclusively we've got uh lots of lots of ways of getting damage we have lots of ways of making the shards um and yeah the build's very fun it's very strong uh we've got lots of ways of getting our super back fast as well with whisper of bonds and font of wisdom so yeah let me know what you think of the build uh, i'm going to show a little bit of gameplay just showing off how the the, the cycle works really with agers and uh yeah hopefully you enjoyed Adiós.